Hmm. Well, good morning. Let's pray I don't take up too much of your time. Um, I'm smoking today out of the most famous pipe on YouTube. This is the Craig Cedarquist poker that he made on his How to Make Pipe series that he put out a few years ago. It's pretty cool. It's like a five-part series on how to... No, it was like a nine-part series on how to make pipes. This was it, and he sold it. And he said that he was primarily using... He, he had smoked a little bit of uh, some aromatics out of it. So I thought I would I'd use this as an aromatic pipe as well. So what am I smoking out of it? Well, I'm smoking, jeez, I'm smoking Chatham Manor, Hearth and Home. I love it. It's so good. It's such a good tobacco. It's not heavily topped. It's like a good coleslaw, I thought. You ever, you ever think about coleslaw? I guess this is the purpose of the video. To compare tobacco, aromatic pipe tobacco, to coleslaw. Are you, are you a coleslaw connoisseur? Are you an aficionado of fine cabbage-based shreds? Um, I'm, not, I'm not a huge connoisseur, but you ever go to the, like the barbecue restaurants or the KFC? Wow, my nose is itching. Apologies. You ever go to like KFC and get their coleslaw? It is like goopy. It is soaked with that creamy sauce. To me, that's like a that's like what you expect like a goopy aromatic to be like. But there are places that you can go that serve coleslaw. It's like they they're just lightly topped with some vinegar sauce. You know, it's so light you don't even know. It's just you think, oh, it's just it's just cabbage. There's no there's no topping on it. There's no flavoring. But there is. There's a little something on there. And that's how I feel like a quality aromatic or a quality OTC is. There's like a little just a little something on there, but it's it's for the most part it's you can't sense it other than the flavor. It's not heavy. Doesn't doesn't cause a lot of issues like like KFC coleslaw, just real runny and nasty. I remind, and I'll 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 end on this. This is the funniest coleslaw story I think that I come up with, and it's a true story. Um, one of my brothers was <laughs> he was getting married uh, to his wife that he is no longer married to, but we went to this is right before they got married. We went to her parents' house. They had like a pool party and we were in you know, a big old family gathering, you know, kind of the pre-wedding uh, get together and everything. And one of her aunts or somebody brought coleslaw or made coleslaw for this party. And it was the best coleslaw I've ever had in my life. And it was fantastic. So after my brother and his fiance got married, I like got on Facebook Messenger and like I was messaging her uh, her mom saying, hey, what, can you give me that recipe for coleslaw? Because I was you know, trying to be health conscious. It was like a non-goopy, non, you know, it was like a real low calorie coleslaw. So I was like, can I get that recipe? And she was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me talk to whoever who, who made it, you know. And she never did. Like I would, I would send her a quick message every few months. Hey, you got that coleslaw recipe? And nothing doing. Well, a little while later, I got news that my brother and her were gonna get divorced. And the first thing that popped into my head was, guess I'm not getting that coleslaw recipe after all. So <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe that wasn't as funny as I thought in my head. Planning out this video earlier, but Chatham Manor is really good, so I'm going to let you go. Thank you for watching. I'm going to get on Instagram now. Smell my beard.